Wilson, Mo, Warnock, Smith. We're a calendar inspection, uh, so every so many days the aircraft has to come in for uh, a really in-depth inspection. We get into things that they don't inspect on an everyday basis on the flight line. So every three years you're going to come across uh, the C check itself. The C2 check, which is the most in-depth, uh, is what we're coming up uh, on right now. Anything and everything that you have on this aircraft is going to be touched by us and we're going to look at it. The wash, those are due actually every 180 days. All that stuff is for corrosion prevention. The grime and grit that happen while it's out in the system, salt water, what you find on the oceans, in the sand, all that stuff that was getting inside the components and it's going to eat away at the metal. It's so we 130s, we don't land on international runways all day long. We land on dirt runways with rocks. So you're going to get nicks and things wrong with your plane. Paint's going to come off and you don't want to uh, bear exposed metal for corrosion, so you're going to paint it. The first thing you're going to see when we come in here is we're going to bring, we're going to tow the aircraft into the hangar and we're going to pull the jacks out and we're going to full jack the aircraft and bring it off the ground and allows us to get up and close and personal with the aircraft so we can walk freely under it while it's up. And then we're gonna start taking the panels off and we're gonna start safing the aircraft for maintenance, which is pulling circuit breakers, applying the warning tags. Average C check, what we find, is probably an average of 120 uh, discrepancies that we find wrong with the aircraft. So that's just to show you that what we're doing is important because that's 120 things wrong with the aircraft. And we do everything from changing burnt out light bulbs to change engines, to cracked airframes, to uh, everything. There's, there's multiple things that we find wrong. I mean, how minor to how major just depends on the aircraft itself. Uh, the wingtip lens is cracked, we have to replace that. The slime light is burnt out. Inspections are, for the most part, since the inspection takes two or three weeks, we have, it's, everything's time-based, so everything's not super crunched like a wash. We have one day to get it all done. Are they all good? Where the inspections, you have a certain amount of days to look at it and find what's wrong, a certain amount of days to fix things and get everything fixed before it gets back outside to fly. They look microscopic but you can see the crack going around and this crack actually goes from the corner of the airframe itself to the rivet and extends down to the next rivet itself. these planes out here I have played a part in them flying and having that feeling that I put them up in this air for the most part is it's an awesome feeling. <laughs> 